Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Today I've got a nice clean preset on the Line 6 Pod Go. It's got that big ambient delay kind of thing going on, but we're going to take a closer look at the preset right now. So here we go. It is based around the Matchstick Channel 1, which is the matchless amplifier. Um, it's got, there's the settings if you want to know the settings, but you don't really need to look at the settings because I'm going to provide the link below if you want to go and download it. Or uh, it's totally free, so go download it, have a play, enjoy it if you like this kind of thing. Um, yeah, so there are the settings anyways. Um, there's the cab, it's a stock cab, it is the 2v12 matchless cab which comes, you know, loaded when as soon as you load in the, uh, the matchstick uh, channel 1, it automatically loads in. We've got a few other things going on in this preset as well. I've got a harmonic tremolo going on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the delay off, I'm going to turn the harmonic tremolo on, and it sounds like this. If you haven't heard the harmonic tremolo before, it's a lovely effect. <laughs> And I really like the harmonic tremolo. Um, you can turn the delay back on with it on. Sounds like this. And there you go, I just, uh, I like the harmonic tremolo, so there are the settings for the harmonic tremolo, like, again, again you don't really need to uh, to say them, just go download the preset totally free, uh, link in the description once again. Um, so the delay itself is the transistor tape delay, there are the settings, I shall turn it on. There you go, so what have I done here, um, the time is at 700 milliseconds, if you want it to be on your top tempo switch, just hit this little... Uh, clock icon here and it will switch it to a quarter note and then you can access the uh, the top tempo switch just to tap in whatever time you so desire the feedback is at 55 percent i think i've pretty much left everything stock apart from the scale now here's a little trick um if you were to put that at 100 percent it would simply just ping pong the sound i guess <laughs> Yeah, it's just the standard delay, but if you take this down, if you take the scale down to 75%, you're going to get that. Actually, no, I was wrong what I said before. It's not the stock, it's not the ping pong effect. It's just the standard delay. But if you take this down to 75%, now it's going to give you that ping pong kind of stereo delay thing going on. Yeah, I'm going to take this back to 700 milliseconds. Now you can hear it. I'm going to turn this reverb off. Da, 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 da. So there you're getting that effect of the, uh, the stereo fail there. The spread is at 10 to give you maximum stereo uh, effect there. Now I've got the mix uh, assigned to the expression pedal on the Line 6 Pod Go. Uh, very simple to set up. And I've got the maximum set to 40%. That's as far as I really want to go. I don't really want any more than 40% because it just gets a little bit too wet and uh, gets a little bit kind of muddy sounding for my personal tastes. So if, I'm, if I want to move uh, the expression pedal, you can see it will go up and down to, so you can blend in uh, exactly how much effect of that delay you want. If you, you don't want very much, you can just set it to maybe you know 25, 26%. And it's just going to turn the volume down of that delay. Or you can just have it off when it's totally off. And then you, again, you can just blend it in. Uh, 
And you can obviously turn this up to taste. You know, you can you can you can turn it right up there if you want to. But obviously, just remember, once you go past fifty percent, you are now diminishing your dry signal. So you're just going to get purely wet at hundred percent. So just keep that in mind. I've left the headroom at uh, zero because with the transistor tape. I like to have a little bit of gain, like a little bit of drive on the air delay it repeats. If you don't like that again, you can turn this up to give you a nice, you know, a nice cleaner delay uh, repeats. And uh, the reverb that I've got going on, I've just got, I've got the glitz reverb, but I've just got it very kind of low. I don't really want to, uh, you know, overpower this preset with the reverb. It's more about the delay of this preset. So I've just kept the mix down to about 20%. Uh, I've turned the decay right down to uh, four and I've upped the pre-delay to 120 milliseconds just to let that initial um, attack, you know, the sound of the uh, the guitar come through first and then the delay kicks in, which is what pre-delay is. Everything else is stock. Um, yeah, so I think that is pretty much it. Um, just a little tip here, if you are going to, uh, it won't matter if you download the preset, but if you make a preset like this yourself, make sure that you turn off the vol the volume pedal if you want to assign, you know, what any any other parameter other than volume to the expression pedal. Uh, make sure you turn the volume pedal off because if you leave that on, it's just going to turn the whole uh, turn the volume off of the whole preset. So make sure you turn the volume pedal off. Um, EQ wise. Yes, I am dipping uh, three and a half dB at 230 Hz, just to get rid of any muddiness that sits around that frequency, um, just, to, just to clean things up a little bit. But yeah, that is pretty much uh, the preset that I've got going on here. <laughs> And the matchless in the uh, the pod goes just a, it's you know it's just a great in my opinion it's one of the best amps for clean if you like those nice clean chimey tones uh, it's a great amp to you know experiment with and uh, yeah that's it if anybody's got any suggestions that you know you you they want uh, they want me to uh, explore or um, you know experiment with um, do you prefer the clean stuff do you prefer the high gain stuff do you prefer the mid gain stuff let me know in the comments. And I will see what I can do. I like to help people out. So yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much. And uh, please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And obviously subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everyone's safe and all that good stuff. And uh, take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.